Now we are going to see about the basic wire bending in orthodontics in this video today. Uh, the basic wire used in orthodontic treatment purposes is stainless steel wire. The stainless steel wire its composition are 18 percent of the chromium, 8 percent of the nickel and the, uh, less than 2.1 percent of the carbon. The function of the chromium is its passivating effect and sensitization and stabilization and the nickel is and the, and the copper is it will increase the uh, ion can increase the strength of the wire and uh, the wire bending which is uh, now we are going to see about the wi basic wire bending used in orthodontic purposes and uh, the most common used wire in orthodontic treatment purposes is uh, stainless steel the other common used wire are beta titanium nickel titanium and uh, lg alloy wire and um, uh, it's uh, stainless steel is most commonly used because of its uh, ease of welding, ease of formability and uh, it's, it's having a large amount of uh, uh, models of elasticity and for, practi for, practicing, uh, for practicing purposes the basic wire bending is usually done and for incorporating more bends during the orthodontic treatment purposes this wire bending may be useful and now we are going to see about how this uh, square was made. So we have to straight the wire. The instrument which is used are universal plier and cutter and the Adams plier and it's a glass marking pencil. We have to initially we have to straighten the wire like this. So first we are going to see about how to make this uh, perfect square. With glass marking pencil we have to mark the exact point where 90 degree bend angle is given. Then with help of the plier hold the wire the exact point where the bend is given. Hold like this. Now we have to turn the plier not the wire. like this and we have to place on the graph and see whether it is uh, it's in correct, correct plane or not. With help of the glass plate we will see the adaptation the plane it should be in flat like this similarly mark the next point. and bend like this so that the complete square will be made like this. Similarly the rectangle was made and now we are going to see about the UV loops. For this also we have to straight the wire and with help of the plier use this round beak. So initially we have to given we have to mark the points with the help of the glass marking pencil you have to mark it and give a bend similar to square and check it in graph then again mark then make a U loop like this. We have to turn the plier and make a U loop like this. And then I can check with the graph. We have to adjust it accordingly. Then for V bend, we have to mark exactly the point where 90 degree bend is made. Then the bend is given. Check with the graph. Again mark the point.
then a 45 degree V bend is given like this we have to check again with the graph then mark a point then again a V bend is made then again we have to check continue this until the full UV is complete so that the full UV will uh, lastly will become like this that's it thank you